All right, here we are at 160 pounds in the Southeast region, 2022. Uh, Glenn, we don't have a lot of them this year, and I'm really glad we don't. Like, this is one of those weight classes, again, we talked about um, uh, with Findora, and we talked about it uh, with uh, Guy and Ziegler. So there are a few, but College Ezzy, again, his weight class to lose. Um, there's not a lot, you know, his weight class to lose. He's been, he's been here before he's been to States he's meddled. Uh, and you know, this is the year he's looking to put it all together and, 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 uh, and, you know, win a state title, not just, not just medal again, win a state title. Um, and again, he's one of the guys been ranked towards the top. Um, this weight class, like after him, it's, it, it's got, it's got a lot of talent. It's got guys that can get on the podium. And so this is one of those weight classes where we're like, you know, we should look to and lean on 160 to get us more than one medalist. Yeah. And, you know, this is bracket, um, you know, is identical to mine, the championship bracket, Joe. So again, this is probably a weight class uh, where we've seen, uh, you know, a decent amount of these kids wrestle. Um, I know that the, there was a little bit of an upset last week with Barlow over Lido. I didn't really think it was an upset, uh, but those guys are still, you know, uh, I know right one there. person who thought it was an upset, Glenn. Yeah, I know. And uh, so, you know, you got the Barlows getting through uh, and Lido, uh, but Cole Jesse is on a mission. Uh, I think he reminds me of uh, a couple other Council Rock State champions in the past that uh, they got to this point. They're ranked number one. The pressure is on them and they embrace it. Um, they kind of can almost feel it like. Uh, but, you know, he has work to do. Uh, you know, getting a match with Lido is going to help. A match with Barlow is going to help. Um, so, you know, we have it the same way. Uh, and again, uh, there's, there's more metal to be had, uh, you know, in this weight class possibly as well. Uh, Glenn, uh, I've been told, uh, by one of my inside sources that this 160 pound bracket will be on FanDuel for you to bet this weekend. Woo! Um, so it won't be done through the forum. It'll be done official on FanDuel for those that are looking to make wagers on, on certain wrestlers in this weight class. Uh, just throwing it out there. Um, so anyway, as we go on. Um, and look at this, this weight class. And we, and we start back in, in, in that first round, um, you know, there's, there's uh, one match that kind of sticks out to me. Probably the, the, I shouldn't say the one match, the best match in this first round is going to be Talon Hogan and Ryan Corp. Um, oh, Talon Hogan is Talon Hogan has quickly become one of, one of the guys I'm really looking forward to seeing what his ceiling is. Um, you know, I, 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 I've heard about him and I got to see him wrestle in person, district duels and, you know, he kind of just it, – it, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when he gets his hands on you, he's going to he's gonna score points. And you saw it, like, as he went and made his way into the final at, in the East bracket uh, or the East, the east uh, section. Uh, I know Mike likes to call them the sections because this is the true district tournament. We won't get into semantics about it. But at the East district tournament, uh, making the final and um, – uh, you know, eventually losing to College Jesse, but Ryan Corp spent most of his year at 172 pounds. And when Merrick Seaman came back, he was at 180, 80, uh, 182, and then he dropped down to 172, which you know pushed Corp down to 160. So he's been, you know, he he brought he came down uh, and has been wrestling some bigger guys. But I think Hogan wins. He's just been so impressive this year, Glenn. I'm riding with him. I'm going with with, yeah, with the freshman. This this is one of the most impressive big big man freshmen we've seen. Um, he is a big kid. He's going to get bigger and stronger. Uh, but his wrestling uh, ability is amazing. Um, he, again, a lot of quickness, but just fundamentally sound. He, tough in the ties. Uh, he can score from the ties. He can score oh, from his shots. So yeah, his he, shrugs he, he, and, and exactly. ducks are just amazing. I mean, he's like a 106 pounder. Yeah. Um, it, it's uh, amazing. And he probably was at one point in the, in the, in the midgets. And, you know, this is a group of, of young Penn Ridge kids that are, you know, like you said, we really don't know the ceiling. I mean, we're starting to see a little bit with Coffin and Coons, but, um, you know, these guys still aren't at that level yet. And, and you know, Hogan might, might, might be one of the guys that goes a little bit faster than, than those other guys. Right. Uh, Hogan, side note, uh, I've been told is, is related to the Hogan's from, from Boone um, that are, uh, you know, they're, they're enjoying uh, their, uh, you know, very successful careers up to this point. Uh, big wrestling family out there at Daniel Boone uh, High School. So uh, nice. he's a part of that family. Um, but as we 
we look now, let's, uh, you know, we have some Barlow on Barlow crime there in the, uh, in the semifinals. <laughs> I'm going with Chase Barlow. It's the first time I've ever had to put an initial next to a name. And, and in the bottom half of the bracket, I will, there will be a J there. It's just so we're, we're all clear on who we're talking about. Um, but like, you know, it's, it's funny that two guys, the same name, uh, end up, you know, squaring off in the, in the semifinals as well. So, uh, let's look like, uh, you know, call Jesse being Lito and Chase Barlow being Josh Barlow. Let's go down and take a look at the wrestlebacks here. I got, uh, Montaigne losing to Trevs. Uh, I got Davis being Klein, Pasco being Greenblatt, and I have Corp being all Allinger from Garnet Valley. And then with Pakalski losing in that quarterfinal, I have Pakalski beating Corp. I know I'm going to hear from my Westchester Rustin guys. They're going to be in my ear about this. Um, but just the feeling I got. Uh, McClellan beating Pasco. Uh, Beckett, uh, again, guy transferred back to Satterton. Uh, he, he didn't go to high school at Satterton at all. He left before his freshman year. We spent some time at the Hill School. Now he's back. Uh, him being Davis and then Hogan beating uh, Trevs. Uh, I got Hogan beating Beckett. Um, Mikulski beating McClellan. Uh, Hogan, as, as, as well as he's wrestling as tough as he is, uh, you know, going up against this senior in, in, in Lito, Lito's going to be too much for him. Uh, I got uh, Barlow beating Pakalski. I got Hogan, though, on the back end beating Pakalski to get to States. And I got Barlow being Lito for third. Yeah, this, this is an extremely interesting, um, you know, wrestle back down here. So um, I, I'm, I kind of, uh, you know, I have a feeling Hogan can beat Lido. Um, I saw Lido wrestle last week, um, you know, and, and Hogan may give him some fits. I mean, uh, kind of similar, you know, styles, and and it could this could be really close. So I, I, I'm going to flip flop, you know, there. Um, but I, I agree with the the guys getting out. Bukowski, uh, you know, he can get by Josh Barlow. Um, so again, th these are, uh, I, this is really hard. I can't really give you my, my third and fifth, because I, I just think that um, we might see it the other way around with Hogan uh, and Pakulski in the three, four spot. Um, so if it's, if it's Lito um, down below with Barlow, uh, you know, I have, I have Barlow winning that again. So it, it's, it's hard. I mean, Lito has been there, um, you know, but he, it's kind of a different weight class now. It's different. It's a little different for him. I think he's been in a, the same type of weight class uh, for the last couple of years, and it's different this year. So he might be the odd man out. So I hope the guys down there uh, aren't, aren't mad at me by saying that at Lower Marion, but that's just the um, way I see it. If you uh, you probably can parlay that Hogan Lido match <laughs> with something else in the bracket. Um, <laughs> And even, you might even be able to live bet it while you're there, too. Oh, um, man. Who do we you know, talk to there? I don't, I, I, I don't know. Like I said, it's on FanDuel. Uh, from my sources tell me it's going to be on there. Um, so, uh, I think again, that's illegal. It, it, Isn't that illegal? Uh, high schools, I, well, I don't know. I mean, we've got people making bets on the, uh, uh, you know, proposing bets on the forum. I think FanDuel would make it a, maybe a little bit more uh, legal uh, if it's oh, on yeah. there. So Absolutely. Uh, it just, uh, again, have it, have Yeah. So fun. this will be a good one. This is going to be a great, uh, this will be a great, uh, you know, third and fifth place bouts. I mean, I, I think you got some real talented kids here. Someone's going to be left home and, and that's the problem, uh, with this one. I think we have six, uh, seven deep. If you want to throw Beckett in there, uh, as another guy that, with the potential and, and McClellan. So, I mean, you know, there, there's going to be some wars down below. I mean, this, this will be one to watch in the Contis, uh, at Oxford. Agreed. So we're going to turn the page on 160 and go to 172 where, you know, we have, uh, you know, we have another, another, uh, another great bracket loaded with talent and a lot of guys going to be vying for, for five spots.